What's poppin' everyone? It's a big bat with another video. Uh, today, I am going to run the Phoenix Wizard. Uh, I will also be posting the top wizard path and the bottom wizard path today, so be sure to check those out. But we're gonna actually just focus the um, Phoenix path. Uh, I've been focusing each path uh, instead of uh, doing a combination or having all tier 5s on at once or having other towers to kind of like take the uh, main role of the video. Uh, so these strategies aren't going to be as good because the Thank wizard monkey itself is not that great. Repair it's pretty, in my opinion, it's kind of good early game. It's mid game is probably very strong even, but it's late game is pathetic. It's actually pathetic. So <clears throat> the Phoenix wizard is probably the coolest looking one when you just focus that one and nothing else. The undead, they're, they're all really cool. The undead's really cool covering the whole, um, the map with the undead balloons. But I like the phoenix because you can end up getting a bunch of phoenixes up and they look really nice. So I go with the typical start with the wizard of going with the fireball upgrade. Uh, that's mostly gonna be all I need until I get 900 cash, in which case I go with the wall of fire. This is my normal start, you guys know it. It's not changing now uh, because it's still, I'm using the wizard uh, solely. And um, we're just going to continue eco farming with the grouped reds because we want to get the eco up as fast as possible. In this uh, match, we're going to want as much eco as humanly possible because we need a bunch, a bunch of phoenixes. Not only do we need a bunch of phoenixes, but I brought the sub mainly because the sub can defeat grouped purples. That's like the main thing I was looking for. We're going to place Ben down to get the money going. But the main thing I was looking for when I was looking for another tower was the group purples and then some kind of support for the wizard. And for the group purples I went with the sub and for the support I went with the, the uh, village. But what's really nice about this is the sub, the energizer upgrade on the sub will make our cooldowns faster. And um, that will make our phoenix phoenixes come out faster. So if I'm able to put that down this match then um, we will be on a 20% cooldown decrease. Let the beat drop. And um, it's going to look really cool in my opinion. It's kind of going to look like um, his airplane. Like imagine his airplanes right there, but Phoenixes. And what's nice is that he did do these airplanes. He put down airplanes. So I don't think that um, we're in serious danger of losing. I think this guy wants to go to the end game. Just because it looks like he's kind of testing something out. And we're also, by the way, this is probably my favorite map. All the intersections make some towers that otherwise wouldn't be so good. It makes them a lot better. And I'm really glad I got this map when I was doing the Phoenix video. But I will say this. It's not good in ranked. It's only decent and casual and i wouldn't even say it's decent i have lost many games trying to make this video and it's all because um there's just a lot of holes in this defense i'm not gonna lie there's a lot and he lose the wizard monkey just straight up if you're focusing the wizard monkey it just loses the end game it just does and so it really making this video kind of relied on somebody wanting to go to the late game and this guy actually did but all my other attempts, um, it ended pretty early, and I wasn't able to showcase the tower. So don't let this uh, this match fool you. But so far, we're doing really well with the money grind. Alright you guys, um, we're doing really well on the farming still. Uh, we're almost at a thousand eco, about to hit that. Our submarine can pop uh, the purple groups if they came, but they never did. He never sent them out. He never sent out any groups at all. And he doesn't even really um, seem to be farming much at all. Uh, it, it looks like he was going for the engineer farming, which in my opinion is probably the worst type of farming in the game. Uh, it's a, It has to be either that or the buccaneer money farming. I'm not sure which one's worse, but they're both not good in my opinion. 
And, um, but, so, his eco's pretty low. Uh, for our wizard monkey, I actually went bottom path for the, uh, camo detection. Because, uh, he doesn't have any at the moment. Even though we have the monkey village for that reason, um, I didn't have it at the moment, and he could have sent camo balloons and rushed them and beaten me if I didn't put it down. So I wanted to be safe. And then I went for the monkey village upgrade, uh, the cash one, because um, our eco is now uh, going up even more by sending balloons out, then, uh, out at them. And it seems to me like since the cost is the same to send balloons out, but it gives you more eco for sending them, it seems like the higher uh, cost but higher eco producing balloons are the go to when you have that village upgrade. Because the black balloon went to 3.3 .3 instead of just 3. That's pretty nice. Whereas I'm pretty sure the pink was at 2.4 and went to 2.6. Now, that's not like some giant crazy thing, but still definitely nice and helpful. And then we're gonna go with the Monkey City because it adds another, um, I think it's like 10%. Yeah, it is 10%, 3.6. So we're, instead of getting extra three eco per Black Bloom, we're getting extra 3.6. So our eco's boosting even faster than it would, but it would pretty fast anyway with the group Blacks. It's one of the fastest ways to boost your eco, that and the group Pinks. So we're just getting our money up as usual. Alright, we're at the point where our eco is boosting pretty much like 10 times faster than it does at the beginning of the game when you're sending group reds. It feels like it's pretty much about 10 times faster. Uh, so, this was pretty dangerous because the fortified ceramics were coming and they didn't destroy them in time, so I had to upgrade and get the phoenix. But as you can see, the phoenix looks gorgeous. That phoenix is beautiful. And it doesn't affect purple balloons, and so we're going to end up placing another monkey village and give it the ability to pop all types. Um, and from there, our wizards are going to be pretty strong, and we could just really focus on building up our defenses with the wizards. Now, the thing about these wizards is that I actually do think that the fire wizards can be good. I feel like you just got to really grind the beginning and it's got to go late because there's going to be definite weak points but the the phoenixes can pretty much destroy now i'm not saying one phoenix but phoenixes can pretty much destroy all balloon types um i don't think there's really any balloon that it wouldn't be able to destroy the only one is obviously the bad the bad probably not it probably can't but DD, normal DDTs it for sure can, for sure. Um, normal ZOMGs, um, the tier 5 for sure can. Uh, the fortified ones, probably, probably. And a regular bad, I don't know, but I think it could, to be honest. I think you could get it to the point where you can destroy bads with these, but probably not a fortified one. And it definitely not many fortified bads. But I will say, um, the Phoenix is pretty nice, pretty safe. Um, I boosted when I didn't even actually need to. And I have three Phoenixes up now, and they look really nice. And from here, our defenses are actually a lot, a lot stronger than they were. Our defenses just increased by an extreme amount, but it is ability-based. So it can be dangerous. But, um, even the regular towers, they hit decently hard. They're pretty decent without the abilities, but uh, obviously the ability is the main thing. And we're just gonna, uh, since it's a uh, late game, but looks like it's gonna go even later, we're just gonna continue boosting our eco a bit. Um, his strategy doesn't seem to, like, have any kind of, like, sync to it. I don't think those towers pair up too well together. 
So I'm not sure why he chose that. Maybe he's just grinding out his towers, or maybe there's something else he has in mind that I don't. But always having these phoenixes up is nice, and it's kind of funny seeing that his planes are up and I have the phoenixes up and they're going in the same circle. <laughs> it's pretty much like, who, who has the better um, air support? Alright, and then we got the Energizer. So now our abilities are on a 20% uh, smaller cooler cooldown, which is really good for us. It makes um, it makes the strategy a lot less risky, because we'll pretty much always have Phoenixes up, mostly. Um, not right now, but as we put more, the Phoenixes are going to be up a lot. And he sent um, two fortified... Uh, BFBs I boosted just in case but as you can see I didn't need to do that I really did not need to do that I think I would have been good either way but I will say it was on the safe side maybe I didn't maybe I did but either way what's good is that see they stayed up they just went out and look at the cooldown on them that's not much downtime now it's enough for like a DDT to just hurry up and pass by right now but um, now it's not. Now we have the Phoenix back up. Oh, we only have one, so maybe that wasn't the rest. But all the rest are back now, so that wasn't too long. Uh, that was pretty quick. So, what sucks about um, the Fire Wizard is that the tier 5 for it is actually uh, pretty expensive. It's definitely the most expensive one. And it's the most expensive by about 20,000, which is crazy. So it's pretty much the other two. It's almost like the cost of the other two tier fives combined. But you'll see why. I think I think it kind of makes sense because um, it is the strongest. But it is too expensive to be like super viable, I feel like. Maybe it could be viable with other towers. I don't know. But now we have, um, since we have the tier 5, that phoenix on the screen is actually permanent. We have one phoenix that is actually permanent, and his ability became extremely powerful. Uh, the tier 5 phoenix is way stronger than the tier 4s. Way stronger. And also, that with the wizard itself is uh, stronger, as you just saw. His range is pretty crazy. Alright, you see this? It is destroying those Moabs like it's nothing. Yeah, it destroyed those like nothing. And then, yeah, the BFB didn't stand even close to a chance. Yeah, I, I actually really like this strategy. It's really fun. It looks really cool. And it's surprisingly strong for just focusing that pretty much. Alright, our eco is actually pretty crazy. It's almost at 5,000. Alright, so far so good. Um, there's gonna be a point where one of us is gonna have to send something out at each other to win because if you guys don't know this if you Unless they change this, but I know when I read this um, In season two or three if you get to round 40 and no one wins it counts as you both lose It's like a draw and you pretty much both lose now if this was ranked that would matter more this doesn't matter so much in casual but either way i don't want to waste the game i want to try and win right at the end if possible so we're gonna like we're gonna hold it off for a bit but eventually we're gonna have to send out the bad rush because we have enough money to do that now i'm not it's not because our farming was crazy it is because we're super late game but um we did pretty well with our eco i'd say and we have a lot of phoenixes uh, on standby. And we're putting even more down. We have 11 phoenix abilities on standby. One of those is extremely powerful. <clears throat> oh yeah, there's no way that... Uh, unless he sends bads out, there's no way he's, he can win this. Only bads will save him. 
<clears throat> the thing that sucks for this guy though is that his economy it doesn't produce much i'm pretty sure i don't think he sent too many balloons at me throughout this whole game and so we're able to put down way more towers than he can and save up way faster we're putting down all these towers and we're already back to the point where um, we can send out a fortified bat but we're gonna wait even longer because um i get I get a little worried when it's just one bad. One bad makes me feel uneasy sometimes. I'll usually go with the bad as soon as it pops up in ranked. But if um, it seems like they're gonna be able to destroy the bad, I always, I in casual at least, and like um, they didn't send the bad the, for the moment it popped up, then I'm usually gonna wait and send like two and maybe some DDTs. Just cause usually two bads spaced out with DDTs, um, usually people can't handle those. Those usually uh, check off all the strats against uh, bads. We're getting a lot of money despite putting down so many towers. And if we're being honest, we can actually fill up this entire map. Uh, not by the end game. Uh, our farming wasn't that good in order to do that. But theoretically if you wanted you could actually fill up the map because even though they won't be able to attack the track itself the ability will and the abilities are the main reason you actually have these wizards oh yeah look at that nice phoenix the darker phoenix looks insane all right he sent out three ddt's and we use ben's abilities destroyed it instantly and we sent out the space bats. He sent out some fortified BFBs. And we have half of our phoenixes out. And they're actually able to destroy them. So, well, half of them were on cooldown. It looked like anywhere from like 5 to 10 were out on the field at that moment. And we have... Oh, he, and he surrendered. So... <laughs> He would have lost anyway, you guys saw the bad, but um, that was pretty fun. Uh, I like the Phoenix Wizard a lot. He's not actually competitively good, but in casuals, he's definitely a lot of fun. If you want to have fun, uh, try him out. Anyways, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.